What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. So today we're doing another Astro Radiance deck coverage, early access deck. I don't know what the name of this this video should be, but we're looking at the most three hyped decks coming out of Astro Radiance. Uh, yesterday we did boom, 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 Orgy and Form Palkia V. So if you hear me ramble about this deck, check it out. Uh, this is the list we talked about. But today we are covering Darkrai V Star. I know everybody's excited. Darkrai has always had a good place in the meta. Like, it always has. I can't think of a single Darkrai that was not good. You know, actually, we can use this website right here that uh, we built our deck zone. And uh, we can literally type in Darkrai. And let's see what Darkrai's we have, right? Uh, if I can spell Darkrai right. Darkrai. There we go. Um, okay, so maybe some of these early ones, whatever. But literally, okay, so this this one, eh, okay, this one's pretty bad. But literally all of these have been good. This one, uh, it's okay. It's not terrible. Okay, so maybe up to, maybe these three are pretty lackluster, right? Uh, this Abyssal Sleep was like double flip. These Dark Eyes, but anyways, all the Dark Eyes have been like relatively good. Even the Dark Eye GL level X, whatever. Uh, you know, they were pretty good. Not Dark I said Dark Rite G level X and the Dark Rite level X. Uh, that was pretty good. So Dark Rite's always had good cards, right? So that's a good thing. Pokemon loves Dark Rite. Dark Rite loves Pokemon. Sosa loves Dark Rite. Sosa's about to win all the regionals next year because Dark Rite's back. But we've already had this attack printed once. Dark Pulse, it does 30, and then 31 damage for each Dark Energy attached to all of your Pokemon. So, if you have 9 Dark Energy on the field, you do 300 damage because you have a base of 30 plus the 9. Now, the cool thing about Dark Pulse, it needs a DTE. So, you could hypothetically attack with a DTE. I mean, you do negative 20 damage, but who cares, right? Who cares? You're going to do a million damage because you have 18 Dark Energy on the field, and you're going to do like 1,000 damage and one-shot anything. Now, Dark Energy V-Star does have Star Abyss. During the turn, you may put two item cards from just crown to your hand. You could use this. That is a very, very good card. It's a very good ability, right? Um, especially with this deck, there's cards you want to get back. This is like a junk hunt, but it's an ability. Yes, you can only use it once a game, but it is a junk hunt from Seablight that we've had before from Dark Explorers. So they literally took two cards and said, let's cram Dark Ride Breakpoint together and Dark Ride, uh, not Dark Ride, uh, Seablight from Dark Explorers. Let's punch them together and Dark Ride V Star is born. If I guess both the sets right, I'm the smartest Dark Rite player ever. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited for this card. Dark Pulse has always been strong. And it, it gained even more cards. And I can't hold it. But they reprinted Dark Patch. They, they reprinted Dark Patch. Attach a basic Dark Energy from just about to one of your bench Dark Pokemon. We have Dark Rite. We have Dark Patch back. Oh my goodness. So, like I said... You can use Star Abyss to get back to Dark Patch and use six Dark Patch in one game. Yes, that is something you could do. <laughs> That's insane. Oh, man. Okay, so not talking about Dark Ride. We have regular Dark Ride V as well. Dark Wind does 50. Dark Cold does 130. Your opponent's deck was now asleep. You might want a third Dark Ride V star. It's up to debate. Whatever. Um, but yeah, let's look outside of that, right? So we know Dark Rai, Dark Rai is good, Dark Rai is good, Dark Rai is good. But how are we going to accelerate the energies? Well, the big thing we're going to use, I, I personally want to use RCS V Star. RCS V Star, we've got the Trinity Nova, you do 200, and then you search deck for three basic energies and attach your Pokemon V any way you like. That is a base of 90 extra damage with Dark Pulse. That's really good. If RC's V Star does this twice, you're doing an extra 180. Usually, RCS can survive two turns. And so, if you get RCS twice, get a bunch of energies in the field. I really want a third Dark Ride V Star more talking about it. Anyways, but once you get like double Trinity Nova, like there's an extra like six energies in the field, not, not you know, including attaching the dark energies, not including using Dark Patch, not including using other things right now. Like, that's insane. You're going to do so much damage. And also, you still have, you know, the good old Star Birth. Dirty Turn, you may search for two cards, put them in your hand, then shuffle your deck. You only use one base star power in a game. Blah, blah, blah. Who cares, right? Yo, somebody, there was a, there was a 
There is a RC's V star for 9,999. Is this legit? Is this what this always says? No, because like this one says 1650. Whose own TCG player is saying the RC is for $9,999? I hope you get that and you at least give me $10. But anyways, Trinity the Nova's busted. Starbirth is a good ability. If you can survive and use Dark Rise V Star ability, you're really good. That's insane. Regular RC's V is still really good by itself. Trinity the Charge is going to let you fight three energies. And even then, that's going to start powering up your guys out of nowhere. If you get a turn with DT on RCS, Start powering your Dark Rise, and then turn two, you attach more Dark Energies, and your Dark Pulse start doing a ton of damage. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Makes me excited. I'm excited for Dark Rise V-Star. I think it's going to be really good, right? It, just with they talk about these two. Oh, my goodness. It's really cool. But like you said, Josh, how are you going to power up your Dark Rise? Well, we already talked about Dark Patch. The other thing we can use is Galarian Moltres. It has a Mal... Mal I can never say this ability's name. Malevolent Charge, when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, you may attach two Dark Energy cards from your hand to this Pokemon. So you can Malevolent Charge, get two Dark Energies, the boost it of six, uh, 60 damage, right? Attach one, extra 90. And also, it is a really good late game attacker. It has the Fury of Wrath, we've seen this before. It does 20, then 50 more damage for each prize card your opponent has taken. And then they can four prize cards, you're looking at 220, plus Choice Belt, you know, you, you do a ton of damage, right? So that's pretty cool. Good attacker, good ability, really good card. And not only that, we have the regular Galarian Moltres V. It has Dire Flame Wings. Now, you can only use this once per turn. You can attach a Dark Energy uh, to the Moltres V from your discard pile. So it's kind of like, you know, Darkrai GX Rebirth, right? So that's pretty cool. You get back energies, Galarian Moltres V. Galarian Moltres use a Malevolent Charge, get energies out. You have Trinity the Nova to get energies out as well. There's a lot of different ways to accelerate energies, and like getting 12 energies, it's going to be really easy done, right? Not only that, we do have two support Pokemon. We have Crobat has Dark Asset, lets you draw to have six cards in your hand, and Radiant Greninja. Uh, we talked about this card yesterday. I'm not going to go and not spiel like I did yesterday, but if you discard an energy, draw two cards, that could power up your good old Dark Patch, power up your Dire Flame Wings. It's just a Wombo Combo kind of deck. It's really cool. You can once again play Hallucia if you're scared of Mew, but you hit for weakness because you're Darkrai. <laughs> so it's definitely not needed, I don't think, in this deck. Uh, so now this, now this deck wants to go fast, so we're playing three research. There's no Italian engine in here. We're playing three research. We're playing two boss, two Cla two Marnie, and one Claire. Now boss sort of go break a Pokemon bitch to the active. You know, you're doing a million damage by turn two, so it takes a big knockout. Marnie. For Disruption, also, you always, you always don't want to play Research, of course, so that is a big thing, too. Uh, but with this deck with RCs v Star, you can find any supporter cards. That's pretty nice. But Research is going to discard cards to, and then draw seven. So you can discard Dark Energies, you know, Power up with, with Dark Patch, all that kind of stuff. Marnie, you know, situationally, you're like, do I want to Research right now? Do I want to save my resources? So you can Marnie, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we do have Clara. Clara says, choose one or both. Put two Pokemon for Discapal to your hand, or put two basic energies for him to to your hand, or do both, like we said. And this is really good because you can, you know, Clara, get back to Glare, Moltres, get back two Dark Energies, and all of a sudden you're doing an extra 60 out of nowhere, plus Dark Patch. Your opponent's not going to know it's hit him, and all of a sudden you can drop like an extra 100, like, and 20 damage added out of nowhere, which is really good. That's why this Dark Rider deck is going to be so strong because it can go from you have like one energy on the field. To like 10 out of nowhere and you might be thinking i'm crazy but like it's going to happen and you're gonna be like oh my gosh what what just happened what i just get smacked in the face with and you're like oh it's, it's dark rv star so just to let you know uh for quick ball discard a basic discard a card from a base pokemon to ultra ball i kind of don't play for two more ultra ball there's a lot of stuff i want to include in this deck right um but remember we are playing the rc's v star version you could go super aggro and i like, cut the rcs Play two more Ultra Balls, like, you know, play my, maybe like one or two more energies, like, and like go for like really quick Glare Moltres, like Malevolent Charge, Dark Rye, you know, kind of thing. But we're not doing that. We're going to go like RCS and, and be kind of like that way instead. So I, I think that might be a little better. Either way, it's probably really good. It's just going to come with the testing and stuff like that. This is early list anyway. Uh, it's two Ultra Ball, discard two, finding a Pokemon in your deck, put in your hand. 
Now, we have a new card in here. It's called Trekking Boots. Now, this is pretty interesting because you look at the top card of your deck. You can, do, you can either put that card in your hand or discard it and draw a card. Now, this, once again, goes very, very well with Dark Energies. If you Trekking Charge or Trekking Boots, hit a Dark Energy, discard it, you're good to go. This is also going to let you draw a card, right? Look at the top card of your, your deck, you put it in your hand, or just discard it and draw a card. So this is going to help you draw through your deck quicker. Find cards you need. Like, even Trekking Boots and hit, like, you know, a training card, but a stadium card is already out. You can say, you know what, I don't need this. Discard it, draw another card, you're good to go. Um, so I think that's a really cool thing that we have with Trekking Boots. Plus, like I said, if discards Dark Energies, it's going to power up your Dark Rides and stuff like that. I think it's really cool. We are playing two energy switches in this deck. Now, what this allows us to do is if we miss a turn one energy on RCSV, you can energy switch, you know, in energy from like Moltres, like Glare Moltres V onto the RCS and start attacking. You can like Dark Patch energy switch, use the Starbirth, uh, find the DTE, go crazy. Like, that's pretty cool. I. We might need uh, Evolution Incense now I'm starting to think about this. Because, like, we really don't have a way to find RCs of V-Star and Dark Rider of V-Star outside of the Ultra Ball. Uh, oh, well, we're already here. We're already making the video. This is early content. We might need Evolution Incense. Eh. But as long as you find one Ultra Ball, you get Ultra Ball for the V-Star and, and, and then, like, ah! And then, like, draw a card. So, you know what? Who cares? We're here. We're already here. But energy switch gets helps you get the turn two RCV star, start attacking, you're good to go. Also, energy switch can help you get the turn one uh, Trinity Charge playoff with RCSV. So that could be really nice. Uh, then we have three dark energy turn two, and then like uh, yeah, turn one, and so you can have like five already out in the field to do like 170 base just from like turn one. So that's pretty cool. Uh, two switch, get a Pokemon bench from the, uh, from the after the bench. Uh, one air balloon to get Pokemon two less retreat. Uh, this is going to be really good because like Arsene's V Star has like a two energy retreat cost. Uh, Dark has two energy retreat cost. Darker V Star two energy retreat cost. Uh, Glare Moltres is two. Glare Moltres V is two. So that's pretty nice. Twilight spell. You could do an extra thirty damage to Pokemon V. Uh, so you know you have a base of fifty now, essentially with Dark Right. So it's like fifty plus thirty now, which is pretty good. Right, that's that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Five energies, you're doing, you know, 180. That's pretty good. Oh, 200. Sorry, 200. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Choice spell is gonna help you just, you know, basically another dark energy. Training court to find dark energies because the whole point is to find dark energies. Also, it gets rid of path to the peak. Path to the peak. It's gonna save your Crobat. It's gonna save your grading Greninjas because it is a rule box Pokemon. So we just gotta. I'm going to talk about this a lot. Great Acre Ninja is a rule box Pokemon. Do not get a penalty for using Pat for using Radio Acre Ninja under Path of the Beak. Just saying, guys. Uh, I think we have 12 Dark Energy. I think 12 is fine. 12 has always been a good number in Dark Rai. I don't know why. But when I think of Dark Rai, I think of 12 Dark Energies. Dark Rai 12. 12 Dark. 12 Dark. Dark 12. I don't know why. It's always been a thing that I've always thought about. And it's here to stay, I think, still. And the 2 DTE. This can help you get the RC attack off turn two and get you an RC, a Dark Rider VSR attack out of nowhere because it needs a DT to attack. It's only two. I think that's fine. I don't think that's too many or too few. I think it's good. I think it's good numbers. Uh, but like I said before, this is a very, very early list. There's a lot to think about here. Um, cards you may want to include. It's like Pal Pad, especially if you play this Clara engine. Uh, you, could cut, you could play Evolution Incense. You could just cut the RCs V and V Star just like entirely and play like a 4 3 Dark Eye V Star line. Uh, but I don't know how good that is because you don't have like really good energy acceleration. Um, and also, you want like some kind of type coverage. The good thing about this deck is you think dark and you think, oh, fighting weak, just kidding. I'm weak to grass, which is great because now dark is weak to grass, RC is weak to fighting. If this was double weak to fighting, you would be in trouble, but you go, oh, I'm grass weak for some reason, and oh, I'm fighting weak, which makes sense, but grass weak doesn't make sense. You know, Crobat's weak to fighting, but Galarian Mulch is weak to grass, and Galarian Mulch SV is weak to grass as well. Um, Freddy Greninja is weak to lightning, but you're 
and hopefully never attacking with Radiant Greninja. Don't even know how that's possible, but hey, to each their own. You can try whatever you want to do as Pokemon. Um, but yeah, there's the list. Like I said, you can play the Dark Right list, the straight Dark Right, and just like just like start doing a ton of damage. The only bad thing is like Dark Right V it doesn't do a lot of damage turn one. If Dark Right V did more damage going turn one, then I would prefer a straight Dark Right V V Star deck. But we don't have that, so that's why I often play Arceus. Because of Trinity Charge and how strong it is. Just like finding three three energies attached to your Pokemon V any way you like. is really, really good. So, <coughs> there we go. There's Dark Art V. Um, I don't think I said this in the beginning. But I'm going to give a huge shout out to Jake Gearhart. He created this Pokegear app. It's fantastic. You literally, like I said, like I showed you earlier. You literally just type a card here. And you find it. Right? And you just find it. And you're good to go. That's pretty cool. And want to give a shout out to um, Jake, not Jake, Jack from Omnipoke, uh, who created this Astral Radiance um, list. It's fantastic. You can click cards, you can download them, play whatever you want. If you go, hey, I want to play TFK, I want to play a Seaweed Hope Overquill, just, you know, pick that card, and there you go. You can download the picture, print them out, start playing the cards. You're like, oh, I think you see what did, it's BDIF. Get me excited, guys. Make Decidueye BDIF. And you can, you know, print the cards out that way. So, want to give a huge shout out to those two guys. Without this, none of this would be possible. Uh, yeah, shout out to Jake and Jack. So, it's a little confusing, but we got this. Links are down below to both their Twitters. Go tell you thank you. You're amazing people. Go tell them that. And like I said, today we covered Dark Rev Star. Yesterday we covered Origin Form Palkia V Star. What's going to be this third tab? You'll have to stay in the far Friday. You have to stay in for Friday. I'm excited. To, tomorrow's probably my most excited deck. That's my hint. So yeah. But hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks, thanks for watching. It's gonna be interesting to see where Dark Red V Star goes. I'm excited. Alrighty. Bye.